Well, watching the Army Navy game is a tradition for many families, especially families of veterans. Bear Nose J Town is preparing for a big watch party honoring our veterans this Saturday. Mark Lampkin is back to talk about it. We're also joined by the organizer, Keith Kamenish, uh, who put this event together many, many years ago, and it is it's just grown since then. And Keith, you wanted to do this because these issues are so close, near and dear to your heart. A absolutely. Um, I was raised by my father. Uh, my brothers and sisters, we were all raised by my dad. Um, he was a World War II veteran. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in the U.S. Navy. Um, he saw um, quite a bit of action uh, during those four years. Um, his last action was during the invasion of Okinawa. Uh, he was part of the, of the Navy that saw the kamikaze pilots uh, diving their planes into the ships. Um, after the war, he came home. He met my mom, Rose uh, Marie Russell, fell in love with her, got married in 1958. Being a good Catholic, he had five kids right out of the chute. Mm -hmm. um, in 1966, she was diagnosed with Hopkins lymphoma, and she died the next year. Mm -hmm. uh, so my father, a U.S. Navy veteran, is home alone with five kids, my oldest brother being in second grade, my youngest sister being in diapers. Mm -hmm. uh, but he uh, took everything he learned in the Navy, the discipline, the loyalty, the commitment, and he raised us on his own. Uh, the one thing that he did, the one thing he instilled in all of us was education. He said when he came home, the worst mistake he ever made was not going to college. He goes, Keith, we had a great GI Bill. We had everything, but I want to live. Um, I've just been through four years of hell, and I want to live. I want to get married. I want to raise a family. Um, well, my oldest brother went to college. My oldest sister went to college. I went to college. My younger brother went to college. My younger sister went to college. All of us got college degrees. Yeah. And that's the one thing I think he was most proud of. Uh, most proud of us getting the education. Uh, most proud of us. Uh, for being law-abiding citizens and having the discipline to do it. We have a picture of him here and also a letter. Right. Um, if you want to talk a little bit about that and okay. kind of, you know, how you're keeping, I mean, you're keeping his giving back, doing for others and, vet and remembering our veterans mm -hmm. by having this event. Um, well, growing up, everybody's father was in the military yeah. in one degree or the other. You were either in World War II or Korea. So we were around them all the time. Mm -hmm. And they were men of principles. They put commitment and loyalty first. Yeah. And it instilled it into kids. Um, when he passed away, I was going through this thing. Since I'm a lawyer, I was going to be the executive of the estate. And I found this, this letter from James uh, Forenthal. He was the Secretary of the Navy. And what he did is basically thank my father for being part of the greatest Navy in the world. Yeah. Conquered two uh, 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 navies within months of each other. Um, and he wished him uh, that he would take that pride in the Navy into his civilian life, which he did. When I look at my father's entire life. He died when he was 76. Mm -hmm. It's what he learned in the Navy and what he taught us that you can overcome anything. You got to dig your heels in. You got to go for it. You got to do it yourself. No matter how bad things are, there's always a brighter side. And I think after my mom died, he once told me, he goes, when Rosie died, he always called her Rosie. I didn't know what to do, but I knew one thing. I'd never run out on you guys. That's a good Navy man. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, because of that principle, because of the pride he took in the, in the military, for the pride that I saw all my friends' fathers have for being in the military, I wanted to, to keep this spirit alive. And I did this by starting this event with my friend Christy Tunnell uh, seven years ago. Yeah, and it's grown and grown and grown since then. Mark, you've been, you know, to the last couple, right? Yes, it's been At Bear Nose 502. Um, it's it's a big deal. What a better way to yeah. literally to Watch help that game with the greatest generation. <laughs> yes. And a couple of years ago, I had to beg this man. He's humble. He did not want. He did this for a lot of years behind the scenes, and and I, I wanted him to go public and let people mm -hmm. know what a good man he is to recognize the good, greatest generations. Yeah. Four times Super Bowl winner Rocky Blyer is going to be there with a special toast of, of Woody, the Medal of Honor recipient that passed away last year. We have two Medal of Honor uh, recipients there, 260 plus veterans so that we just stop, get to hug and say thank you. Yes, we have Go um, through your, your we're going to meet some of oh, the you're people meet them on all. Friday or tomorrow yeah. in the show. Um, well, we got it. We got quite the list this year. It's yeah. the best list so far. Uh, Mark mentioned Rocky Blyer. Yeah. Uh, Rocky Blyer played for the University of Notre Dame. He was a captain of the football team, uh, got drafted by the Steelers. At the end of his rookie year, got drafted and went to Vietnam. Uh, was involved in an ambush, got hurt seriously. They said he would never play again. He rehabbed, uh, uh, became the starting tailback alongside Franco Harris on the Steelers of the 70s, won four Super Bowls. We have the grandson of Woody Williams, uh, U.S. Marine. Uh, award the Medal of Honor for his actions in Iwo Jima and also the founder of Gold Star Families. We have um, uh, Jim McLuhan, 
Medal of Honor from Vietnam. We have Don Jenkins, Medal of Honor from Vietnam. We got Don Ballard, Medal of Honor from Vietnam. We got Ed Polito. Um, Ed was a major in the U.S. Army in Iraq. Uh, his caravan hit a roadside bomb. Uh, bomb. Uh, he lost his legs. Uh, but he's the founder of the Heart of a Lion Foundation that supports veteran causes. We have country uh, music artist J.D. Shelburne. He's mm -hmm. been with me since the beginning, instrumental. He pro provides entertainment. Kingsley's provides the food. Um, it's just a community Isn't it effort. nice how all, the, I was say these, all these community Everything comes together. businesses come together to support They're, such an event? I, and honestly, Keith, it's... They're doing exactly what your dad told you mm -hmm. to do is is to how to treat people, how to conduct yourself, right? The whole community yeah. coming together to honor. This man has put stuff. together an event that has mm -hmm. grown that no other event in Kentucky or quite frankly across the nation. Yeah. I don't know of any event that has this, a many, list, right? this <laughs> medal of honor, this <laughs> many important Medal of Honor winners. Mm -hmm. he's, he's done this and I'm so proud of him. The event is sold out. Oh, yep. okay. Big old wait list in case, but um, I know you're going to find out bigger places and, and, in, and have it, and I know you're going to be supporting Navy. In, oh, yeah, definitely go Navy. Yeah. But I'm, again, uh, what's important to me most is that uh, people talk about the event. We get excited again. Yeah. When I was a kid, every Saturday after Thanksgiving was the Army-Navy game. Mm -hmm. My dad and my two brothers and I watched it. My dad had pride in the Navy. He wanted us to learn what sportsmanship was about, mm -hmm. that you fight as hard as you can on the field, but you're on the same team at the end. Um, I want the spirit of America, which is a fighters, to come back out again. We hear so many bad things in the press, but we got so many great stories by our veterans. Amen. Yeah, we need to listen great to stories. Them. Yeah, we need they're to listen inspiring to them and positive, and we're so happy that you guys could both be on the show to talk about it. The event is sold out, as we mentioned. It is going on this Saturday. Mark's gonna be supporting Army, Navy. Navy. Papa, Papa was an <laughs> Navy. Army man. Navy. Going on this Saturday, of course. Follow them on Facebook for all the updates there.